yeah. So, um, you know, I'm not really calm like this, but I just want to go ahead and uh, let some people know what's about to go down in our crib. We already been through so much shit for the past seven months, it was ridiculous. There's this kid. Her name is Emmanuela Moses, a.k.a. Cartoon Plays with a Z, a.k.a. Um, anything with tunes at the end, whether it's Olympic tunes or Paralympic tunes or what the fuck ever. Now, before I continue, I want to go ahead and say straight the fuck up <clears throat> that this is an actual child. A 12-year-old, to be exact. And um, her mother has told us that she was uh, autistic. Now, um, for the past two years, uh, Emmanuel has done so much shit. From stealing our, uh, well not our, but my sister's art to our videos and Making websites featuring our shit and everything. Now, the worst thing this kid actually have done was tainted my sister's idea for a series. That was the only thing that she had done. Now, I want to go ahead and <clears throat> explain some to you guys. Even though Emmanuel's mother told us not to contact her daughter anymore, her daughter keeps on contacting and harassing and spamming us. She even went as far as uh, calling my sister's boyfriend fatherless, whose father isn't no I'm gonna say is no longer here with us in the world anymore. Which, to be honest, she was an unforgivable sin that really should be punished by death. Because from what I heard, is that him and his dad was excruciatingly close to one another, and. Uh, she also went as far as making a Twitter and even responding to our tweets. And please note, we were actively staying away from this kid. We were not trying to start anything. We were not trying to, to, to you know, make it, make it past it. See what I'm saying? All me and my sister was was just making videos, minding our own fucking business until she... Literally came along. Unlike Chromastone, Emanuela has a two year history with us for some reason, allegedly ended up uh, getting us reported to the authorities somewhere in the United Kingdom. Now, the reason why I'm saying allegedly, because this threat was made towards me and my sister. Even though you can clearly tell we didn't even know this kid and that we were just trying to save our creations and our conducts. And uh, we were practically the victims with her stealing my sister's art, none less her sister's art, but our videos that we would make together, regardless if it's the audio from the shit post series or even, you know, some instrumental audio, which we don't really care about because we didn't make that. Now, um, <clears throat> there is something that should be said about Emanuela, which is, I'm just going to call her Olympic Tunes. I'm not going to continue using her real name because, well, she ain't chromosome. But there's something that should be said about Olympic Tunes. And regarding her being autistic, she is obviously not being monitored. Now, Josanna Williams, why do you say that she's not being monitored? Well, I'm saying you may well as not being monitored because of the shit that she is pulling with mainly my sister and my brother. Now, I'm not always in her posts. I'll give her that. I am not always the main target in her posts, regardless of what I would say or what I would do. But she blocked me and my sister on her account. And if you don't know how blocking on YouTube works, I'll, uh, I'll explain it. Uh, blocking on YouTube means that uh, the the people who you block can still see your channel. They can still see what you upload, what you commented, and all that good shit. But for you, you cannot comment 
under their videos for anything. If you comment, it will be directly, it will be removed from YouTube as soon as it gets published. Kind of like they don't want you seeing shit. And they will also not get a notification from you if uh, this were to happen. They will not receive it. They, it wouldn't even show up on their YouTube studio. Now, um, despite her blocking us, she does continue to make posts to towards me and my little sister, such as calling them fatherless, tagging us in posts that we do not want to be tagged in. And the reason why we are no longer going to ignore this kid is because when we did this shit with Chroma Stone and ignored him, which is we were actively avoiding him as well, he went on to start calling us pedophiles and slandering us, no less defaming, and then playing victim while uh, sends messages and emails and shit towards my sister behind my back without me knowing. We do not want the same thing happening with us with Emanuela just because we have too much shit going on. Now, like I said earlier in the recording, Emanuela was actually instructed to stay away from us by her mother, nothing less. She was facing repercussions on her mom's and when on uh, when she her mother saw the live. I'm going to go ahead and assume that Emanuela showed her and practically told on herself. And um, we told the mom that we will not be contacting Emanuela anymore. In which, again, she resumes to uh, contact us. Um, we have reported her channel multiple times in the post that she has created. Nonetheless, a comment that she uh, created under one of her posts, which one of her quote-unquote friends called my little sister a uh, bastard which I'm going to go ahead and assume is another little kid just based off the short that's on that channel. And another one uh, with a Friday Night Funkin' boyfriend avatar, his um, Korean name, I don't know, was under my sister's account this morning. Um, <clears throat> because she has, um, because she has, like I said, blocked me and my sister, we cannot comment under her videos of uh, what do we think. So we went under our gaming channel and we uh, put up this warning that if she continues to harass us or if anybody tags or harasses us as well, that we will treat her exactly like we did Chromastone by plastering her information on all social media platforms, including ones we don't use like Gavian Art or TikTok and um, writing a document about her exactly like we did with Chromastone that was truth and nothing but the truth. <clears throat> um, so I want to go ahead and tell you guys, don't go and harass this fucking kid, okay? Because I know as humans, we can be a little bit stupid and a little bit defensive that when someone says don't do something to a person, we go and do it anyway. Don't go and harass this kid. This is not your battle to, uh, to fight. And just like chromosome, this stuff all started over something that had, that had, that she had nothing to do with. But yet, stay, you know, continued to do so. All right. So I want to go ahead and spit something else out uh, too about Emmanuel Bala, about the little autism spectrum. The reason why I don't necessarily believe that Emmanuel is autistic is because uh, Chromastone stated that he was autistic, and he continued to manipulate and uh, um, mentally, uh, mentally and psychologically break. My, sorry, psychologically and emotionally break my sister again by calling her a uh, pedophile, which can actually, believe it or not, can uh, land someone in jail just for saying those exact words, regardless if they have a history or not, because it's just something that shouldn't go uh, unknown uh, yet ignored. Um, we are no longer going to ignore Emanuela. If you guys can uh, report her channel altogether, um, we're going to bring this to the YouTube Twitter. I'm going to bring it on my account if I can. And uh, we'll uh, go ahead and get uh, started on this. Now, if you guys don't want to report her, if you guys don't want to be a part of this, that's on you. But just know that I am all about war and drama. I like 
drama. I just don't like to find myself in drama. It's just fun. It's just fun for me that way. Um, there should also be something noticed too, speaking of the autism spectrum, that I recently found out that when my sister was eight years old, that she was traumatized be, uh, because of the Brony community. And please know that Emanuela actually went on her um, on her uh, community post. I don't know why I keep saying her real name. But Olympic Tunes went on to her community post and shared the post and practically mocked my sister's traumatization, um, even by putting middle fingers in the comments. Talking about no credit to Nana, he asked if Mary made the video, which she didn't. It was someone else. Um... If you can report her, that's all I'm asking. One report means one day shorter for Emanuela's um, channel. And if her parents, if she said that she's truly, if her mother said that she is truly autistic or she has something wrong with her, my biggest question for her mother is why isn't she being monitored? Because kids all the time find themselves in situations that they cannot get out of. And won't really notice her in trouble unless, you know, until it's too late and the damage has already been done. Okay. So, if Emanuela is truly autistic, if Chromosome was truly autistic, why weren't these children being monitored? Why are they on YouTube and they're not supposed to be? Not for Chromosome because he's of age. He can, he can be on YouTube. Okay, but why are these kids on social media uh, uh, contacting and interacting with me and Mary? Those are the biggest questions. We are not bad people. We're not doing this because we hate Emanuela. We're doing this because for some reason, we just might be her actual parents. I do not know. We're doing this to show Emanuela that there are some people that, are, that will allow you to fuck with them on the internet, and whilst there are others that will not allow you to fuck with them on the internet, and we are the ones who will not allow her to fuck with us on the internet. Okay? Now, um, <clears throat> now, uh, between today or tomorrow, depending on what happens that time, uh, between with, uh, um, fucking Olympic tunes or Paralympic tunes, whatever the fuck you want to call her, between today or tomorrow, if there is anyone who are associates of Emanuela who comes on either of our channels, not only that they'll be facing the wrath of us, but they will also be facing uh, the wrath of the document because the document can uh, speak a thousand words. And unlike Chromastone, who we have been dealing with for seven months before he decided to quit the internet, as far as I'm concerned... Um, Emanuela has a long history with us from the time where she first started her YouTube channel all the way up until now. Okay. Um, she also has been making alternate accounts and everything that I'm saying in this recording will be including the document. So we're not really leaving anything out. And if there is anything that we left out, we will obviously put it in bullet points. Um, Emanuela has also been creating alternate accounts just to fuck with us because she knows that we blocked her. She knows that we report her despite her being autistic. She actually knows what the hell she is doing because when we would tell Emanuela to stop just a simple word, stop or no, she continues to do so like a rebellious, um, pre teenager. And all of us was 12 ones especially for those of us who are on the autistic spectrum. We were all 12 ones, but we also knew when enough was enough. All right? So, um, again, we're not doing this to harm Emanuela. We're not doing this to hurt her. We're not doing this to shame her family. We're not even doing this to shame her. We're doing this because our job as YouTube creators is to allow people to consider um you know not only what's made for kids or what's made or what's not made for kids but to also consider that there are some youtubers out there that will actually hurt your kid there are some youtubers out there that will actually end up fucking up your child there are some people on the internet who have beefed online for years and months and ended up meeting 
and real person and ended up getting hurt because of their foolishness, you know, because of their stupidity, because their lack of intelligence or regardless of what mental attributions they have. All right. We're not doing this to hurt her. We're not doing this to shame her. We're not doing this to get ourselves in trouble. We're doing this to show Emmanuel that we are not people that, you know, to be fucked with. Like, you, you obviously seen what we did with Chromosome, and we still, to this day, have that document of Chromosome just in case he comes back. But because he deleted his channel on live, everything that we have said and done has been justifiable just because he made that one, that one action, and that was deleting his account. Okay? Now, am I saying Emmanuel shouldn't have a YouTube? Go ahead and ask some questions. Josanna Williams, are you saying Emmanuel well shouldn't have a YouTube? By the YouTube terms of service, she's not supposed to have one. In fact, she's not even supposed to have a YouTube kids account. Her parents is supposed to have a YouTube kids account. She even announced when she turned 12, which is I'm trying to find out how the fuck YouTube actually slipped this up. Because a lot of other things they would do is age restrict and take down your videos. But for the real problems like children being on a platform interacting with adults... They end up getting put under fire, and they and they practically continue to ignore the situation until they're put under fire, which is something they honestly should not be doing. Now, yes, Emmanuel should not have a YouTube account, but, you know, when we were younger, when my sister was younger, she was eight years old, she had a YouTube account, and apparently it's still up. So she, she still have her YouTube account from when she was eight in like third grade, fourth grade in elementary school, maybe, maybe nine years old. All right. So I'm not saying she, 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 she can't have one. I'm just saying according to YouTube's her a service, she's not supposed to have one. All right. Disabling comments isn't enough to keep the pedophiles away. I just want to go ahead and put the safety mark out there right now. All right. Um, well, the document is going to be written and exposed about Emanuela. You're saying you're not meant to, you're, this, is, this is not meant to harm her, so what is it meant to do? It's meant for her to not fuck with us. And it's meant for her mother to understand why. You see what I'm saying? Because some kids can do shit behind their parents' back all flipping day. You see what I'm saying? Not even, the parents don't even know. So I'm not saying this is entirely Emmanuel's parents' fault. I'm not saying it's entirely her mother's fault because as a 12-year-old, you understand right from wrong. You understand when someone says, leave them alone. If somebody comes to you and say, leave me alone, you see what I'm saying? What are you supposed to do? Leave that person alone. Emmanuel is obviously doing this to be some kind of star kid of a star show, all right? And it's not cool at all. Her document... It's not meant to harm her. It's not meant to put her at the feet. It's meant to teach her a lesson and teach her that we aren't the people she would want to be around and would want to fuck with at all. And it's also to teach her mom that people can actually end up doing this kind of shit to her. And you can't really say anything about it because if you claim that your kid is autistic or she has all these autistic levels, then you or a... Or, or, uh, or, or a nanny, or even maybe a, a guardian should be watching her 24-7. Not even 24-7, because kids aren't even up 24-7. You see what I'm saying? Just watch her throughout the day. You feel me? I know she got school. The only time she doesn't make these stupid-ass posts regarding me and my sisters when she had school, and that's sad. You feel me? But yeah, she's going to get the same treatment as Chromosome. She's going to get screenshotted. All her, her um, upcoming posts and shit regarding me or Mary or her, 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 her boyfriend, all of those posts are going to be screenshotted and posted to our community tabs until something is done about it. Much like what we did with the chromosome. Now, and here's another question. Josanna, are you sure it's a good idea to plaster a kid's information everywhere on the internet? I don't think it's personally okay. Then why do it to teach her a lesson, like I said? We did it with Chromastone because we showed Chromastone that we weren't fucking playing and that we are women and men of our words, okay? Now, here's the thing. We don't have to plaster her information everywhere. 
We don't have to do that. We don't have to quote unquote dox her or send her IP. We not that we know how to do that anyway, but we don't have to do that part at all. But I just want to let you know too that Emmanuel can get herself into some situations like that just by saying, I live so and so. This is my nationality. This is my race. This is my religion. This is where I live. Here's my IP address. Here's my ID card. A <laughs> little joke right there. But um, she also shares these kind of posts on her channel too, which is another reason why she shouldn't have a YouTube channel because she could put not only herself, but her family in danger. And I know it sounds like I care, but honestly, I don't really give a fuck because when you harass me and my sister for over two years now, ever since she was literally in a uh, 10th grade, 11th grade, yeah, that's just something I just don't care about. But just take into consideration that this kid might just be autistic. She might just be a little bit on the autistic se uh, spectrum, and this is what she is doing. Now, don't be running up in the comment section saying, Josanna, you're wrong. You shouldn't be harassing kids like that. Oh, yeah, Emmanuel, it's just a kid. She don't know any better. She's autistic. She don't know any better. I'm going to tell you right now, all that shit is bullshit. That is every level of bullshit. Because my sister is schizophrenic. I will not use my sister as schizophrenic as a defense if I know damn well that she is wrong. My sister is a woman. I will not use that to a defense if she if I know damn well she is wrong. If you actually care about a person, you will not take up for them when they are wrong at all. You will not side with them if you know they are wrong at all. Now, I know kids do stupid shit all the time because we were kids. We did stupid shit all the time. I remember when I was a kid, I... uh. I marked on my uh, Wii U disc and put it in the Wii U to see, uh, not the Wii U, the, my Wii disc to see, put it in the Wii to see if it's going to work or not. <laughs> and then guess what? It didn't fucking read. Okay? And that was a waste of money. Right 60 bucks of the Mario Kart. Done damn drain. Okay. Um, here's one more thing, and then I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Let me get my final closings and go ahead and let it go. <sighs> don't even think about reporting us, guys. Just don't. Because if this kind of shit happened to you, you would be just as tight. We are not going to ignore Emanuela. We are not going to ignore the shit that she says. We're not going to ignore the shit that she does. When we did that shit with Chromastone, who's possibly on the same spectrum level as Emanuela, you saw what happened. He called us pedophiles. He, he, he quote unquote, gathered unnecessary, unreasonable information uh, again uh, to quote unquote against us that actually went against him when viewed by our side we don't mean any harm for anyone all my sister wants to do is be on youtube make her content and make people laugh and she actually deserves to do this without anyone pestering her about anything okay so uh with that being said don't even think that we're the bad guys. Because like I said, if somebody, if, if we were to harass or report Emmanuel, let's just say the roles were reversed. Emmanuel was just a kid minding her business, making content that she thinks is funny to her, that's awesome or hilarious. And then we come along harassing her. It's not because we're black because she's black as well. It's not, it's not because she's fucking black. It's just, we'll just be looking like a fucking asshole and people going to be like, Oh, Mary and Rosanna, two grown-ass women fucking harassing the, harassing the child. And then it will be big news. It will be all over ABC and CNN and, and, and all kinds of crap. It will be all over, uh, what's that, New York Times and, 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 <laughs> and all kinds of crap, dude. It will be all over. That's just how, that's just how bad it would backfire on us if it were, you know, if we were the ones doing this and not her all right now this video is not meant to harm anybody and again i'm gonna say this again don't harass her you can report her but don't be all up in the comment section saying well I, i'm gonna i'm gonna dox you and i'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna do this and that we might not even expose her personal information but that document is still going to be made all right just, just saying don't go and harass her for uh for anything her parents want to come talk to me. They can come talk to me through Twitter because we no longer have an Instagram. We got kicked out for some reason. We, we no longer have our Instagram account. 
So if her parents want to come talk to her and think that with the shit that we're doing is a little bit too strong, they can. They can just contact me. My name is Josanna Williams or uh, Neutral under my uh, Instagram account. You see what I'm saying? But don't threaten us with something that, you know, damn well wasn't our fault to begin with. Don't think for one second that you're in the right to call authorities because of your child and what your child have done and started with us. Okay. I hate, I already hate talking to people as is because I'm not going to anyone's court behind somebody else's child's actions. All right. So if you think that this actually justifies what she has been doing, I pretty much want to say I appreciate you. And I thank you and y'all real G's. For those who think otherwise, let me go ahead in the comments and uh, see what y'all mean. You know, don't don't be scared to put your opinions because unlike some of these people out here, I don't, uh, unlike some of these people out here, I don't take opinions so damn, you know, salty. I ain't salty like that. You know, I'm about to turn 25. I'm, I'm pretty okay. You feel me? And um, when our sister Abby gets back from uh, Vegas... Uh, come Friday night. Um, I'm going to play this recording back to her on YouTube. And I'll ask her what her opinion on it is. Because I actually felt like a dumbass making an apology video for something that we never started in the first place. And I definitely felt like a dumbass for doing that. When Emmanuel's mother was talking about oppressing charges against us for fucking harassment, assault, and battery. Which is, I don't know how the fuck assault and battery works in the United Kingdom. But I know here in the United States, that's practically putting your hands on somebody. All right, which is something we obviously didn't do. All right, so uh, you guys have anything to say before I log off? Uh, this is what I have to say. I'm going to be wasting another two or three hours writing a, a literal essay about someone that this could have literally been avoided with. So because of Emanuela's dumbass actions, I'm actually going to end up wasting my time getting my point across to a shitload of people. So our asses wouldn't have to be inexpensively, uh, you know, so we don't end up having to go to court or whatever. But because I'm going to end up writing a document, everything that I'm, excuse me, I'm trying to break some ice, everything that I have written in the document when I release it, because I already know she's going to play something dumb now. Everything is going to be 100% honest, 100% the truth, 100% origin. That's just how it's going to be. Like chromosome, everything was 100%. Because there's literally nothing Emmanuel can say or do that can obviously have people go against us. Because all of this started because I would not allow her to use my content. Because I found out she was stealing my shit. Like, she wasn't even crediting me or nothing. She even says no credit. For the four videos I have um, taken down on her channel, she literally has put in, she literally has put uh, no credit to Nanahi, which is me on YouTube, especially nine. Um, she literally has said no credit to Nanahi. Obviously saying, yeah, I made this video. I don't care if it's a joke or not. I don't joke over my shit. I don't steal other people's videos. And if I do, I put the credits in it. I mean, the Decker Squad logs. If you look at the description of the Decker Squad logs, you can see Patoriku, you can see Alex Keister, you can see Chris Straub, and uh, Vintage 8, who inspired me with their analog horrors, okay? I'm just not going to do something and say, well, I did this on my own. No. It's, and here's the thing. It's okay to be inspired by someone. It's okay, it's okay to be an inspiration. But it's also another thing when you take and you copy exactly what they do. That's not how you get anywhere. Nobody likes copycats. Not even in the video editing or the artist community. Nobody likes that shit. Okay? But, yeah, that's, that's what I have to say. Right. Um... Son, do you got anything to say before I log off? Oh shit, two hours? You can hear me, right? Yeah. Hold on. Can you uh, log off? No. No? Yeah, you know you've been pissed them off. But, uh... Alright, y'all. I'm gonna... Uh,
go ahead and head out. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. We're not backing on our word. Now, as far as plastering her information all over the internet, we might not, and I mean might, we might not do it. Because I'll be honest with you, she didn't go as far as Kyle's ass, okay? But, um, 